OK, this is good? All right. Hi, welcome to the LVN register location talk. Uh, this is the most definitely censored and cut repeatedly talk about the register location in the LVN framework. You don't really want to hear the, all the details. If you want, you please read the source code. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Evan Chen. As you can tell from my black shirt and jeans, I work at Apple. So the talk is going to be roughly broken down into four parts. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about why we care about rest location. Kind of done. Uh, the next part, I'm going to talk about all the phases of the rest locator in LVM. The next part, I'm going to talk about some of the optimization that I find interesting that we put in in the last couple of years. Then we talk and look to the future and talk about all the works we're doing right now and we have planned in the near future. So why do we care about rest location? It's kind of dumb, right? It works. The LVN's code generator generate pretty good code. Um, on average, on spec, just everybody knows spec. We do pretty well. I mean, I think without the help of LTO, uh, we're about 5% better than GCC 42. On um, 64-bit, we're about the same. We, we have some work to do there still. Uh, we do su significantly better on some of the codec um, stuff that Apple cares about, for example. So this is obvious employ Evan for, for a employment for Evan. Evan. So, but, but it's not quite true. So we do really care about squeezing our last few percent of performance from the generator code. And want to fix the pathological cases where the rest locator falls apart and do really bad things. But more important things is we care about the compile time for static compilation and even, for, even more so for JIT. And the more last, last point is more important. We want to be able to enable more aggressive optimizations. What does that mean? Let's talk about LVN design philosophy. We believe every optimization phase should be as aggressive as possible. And the later passes would just do the right thing and make sure the code doesn't get pessimized. How does it relate to relocation? Well, some of the optimization phases that happen before relocation can and do increase register pressure. And we want to make sure the rest locator can deal with increased register pressure and don't do really bad things. Example, we have a, a loop invariant code motion pass on machine level. This is not turned on yet. Just look at a quick example. The V set zero in the loop basically clear a, a user x86 SSC instruction to clear a 128-bit vector register. It's obviously a loop invariant. And mach machine LICM just hoists it up into the loop preheader. This seems like a pretty obvious optimization, right? This means we only calculate, cal clear the rest of once, and we use it multiple times re re with re without recompu recomputation in the loop. However, moving something away from its use means increased life length, life range. This increased register pressure. So it's not necessarily a good thing, right? It's possible increased register pre pressure means spelling the code. And the reload inside a loop can really kill the performance of the generated code. Later on, I'll come back to this example to talk about how the register locator can deal with this kind of situations. But first, let's take a look at the, the register locator, all the passes involved. The register locator is basically divided into five parts. The fee elimination and a true address pass move code, LVN code out of SSC form. The code editor is responsible for removing a lot of copies. The linear scan allocator is basically the real allocator that deal with allocating physical register to virtual registers. And in case uh, we run our register, Spiller is there to help it spill uh, registers. The rewriter has a simple job of translating virtual register into physical register using the decision that has already been made. Feed elimination, it moves SSC form, uh, I mean move LVN code out of SSA form, but, and you eliminate feed nodes. The current implementation is very naive. It basically insert copies in all the source basic blocks. Then you replace the feed nodes with another copy. This works, but it increase, in, introduce lots of copies. 
which the colas will have to work really hard to get rid of. This is a compile time issue because the more work the colas has to do, the more time spent there. True address pass. Again, the true address pass move code out of the SSA form. It convert SSA three address instruction into instructions with read, modify, write operands. For example, x86. The add instruction require the destination to be the same register as one of the source operand. So how does the LVN true address pass deal with this? It's pretty simple. Again, it converts, I mean, insert a copy, then it does a, comp com uh, a register renaming. Pretty straightforward. The obvious optimization we, had, we can do here, but we won't talk about them today. Let's take a look at the coalescing. The coalescer basically eliminate copies by register renaming. The example here is pretty straightforward, but hopefully illustrates what it does. You see there's a single copy from V1 register to V2 register. And there are two vertical bars on the right that represent their life ranges. And basically the starting point where they are alive and end point basically is the last use. So V1 and V2, as you can tell, obviously overlap. However, the rest of coalescer is smart enough to notice during the portion they overlap, V1 is not modified at all. So it is smart enough to rewrite them, turn the copy into an identity copy, which will then elim eliminate. And the V1's life interval grows. But we get rid of one re register. It's worth noting the implementation of the register coalesce is very, very aggressive. We do value numbering, which means we can coalesce a lot of overlapping life intervals together. After register coalescing, you see a lot, a lot of life intervals. They have multiple definitions, and they're represented by different value numbers. Here's uh, somebody, uh, I'm sure a lot of people have raised this question. So why do we do coalescing so aggressively ahead of time? I mean, coalescing aggressively means you have a lot of, a lot of virtual registers with extremely li long life interval. This does increase register pressure. However, this goes back to the LLV and design philosophy. Every optimization pass does as aggressive a job as possible. So the rest of coalescer expect the allocator to do the right thing by splitting, spilling life intervals at the right place to minimize the cost of spilling. And where are the copy is coming from? As you can tell early on, a lot of copies come from two, elim uh, two address elimination and mostly phenols elimination. These can provide a useful kind of guide to decide where to